Citizens Agriculture Appropriations Bill. Principles that I established uh, are the ones that were followed and should serve as a model for our our future efforts together. Which is one that the um, dollars appropriated uh, conformed uh, closely to my recommendation, and certainly the legislature has a right to exercise its own prerogative in that regard. And I respect that. And also, uh, they the two chairs uh, very graciously uh, removed a couple of items, uh, policy matters that uh, were of concern. And so, on that basis, uh, the bill signed. And we have a bipartisan success to show up for it. A uh, good day for uh, Minnesota, good day for Minnesota agriculture. Uh, we've maintained all along that uh, uh, agriculture is a strong part of our economy. And, uh, and um, for Minnesota to be strong, it's key that, uh, that we keep agriculture uh, uh, strong also. Uh, we're one of the largest agricultural states in the United States, uh, sixth largest agriculture producer. Uh, you know, the cuts, we, we all know we're in difficult uh, budget problems and, the, and, uh, and we have serious budget challenges ahead of us. Uh, we recognize that in the agricultural community also. We needed to step up and, and uh, take our, sh our uh, a share of uh, the challenge on. Uh, so we do see some reductions in spending, no, no doubt about it. But we went in committed to, to protect our core missions, <coughs> protect our livestock industry, protect the food safety. And, and again, uh, one of the key uh, prob uh, uh, provisions for me, and I know the governor, as we've talked, and, and, and my friends uh, in the legislature, is uh, to maintain our export support. Uh. I think what we got probably didn't leave anyone on the committee without a little bit of heartburn, and maybe the governor too, I don't know. But they were interested in working with all of us, they listened to everybody, including the governor. It was clear they wanted a bill that would pass, and I think uh, it's to their credit that we arrived at the point we did. So thanks to our, our leadership on the committee, both in the Senate and in the House, and to the governor, I think they've all compromised and I hope we can serve as an example on the Ag Committee for other committees moving to this point in their uh, status this year, bringing forth a bill that will be acceptable to all parties.